You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures too. Baby, here, drink up. It's not big enough. Water, the water you asked for. Come on, baby, take now. You wanted to drink water. Baby. Baby, you need to stop this. Take. What is this? My heart is broken. What have I done to deserve this? My heart is broken. I feel so terrible. Why did God let me go blind? My wedding is in a few weeks, and suddenly I went blind? Baby, you shouldn't be talking like this. You shouldn't sound this way. It's wrong. Because God did not make you blind. And have you thought of, have you thought of people who died in the same accident you were involved in? Virtually everybody died except you. And then you went blind. You are blind, but God is aware of it. God gave you life. He spared your life for a reason. 
And this God who spared you life, who gave you life, has a purpose for you. And I believe that purpose will come to pass one day. You just have to be hopeful. Because when there is life, there is hope. Please. Margaret, you don't understand. My life is completely useless. All my life I have been a hard-working man. I've worked hard for my money. I've traveled around the world. And suddenly, my life came to a standstill. What have I done to deserve this? My life is completely shattered. My entire existence is worthless. Baby, how can you say such a thing? What do you mean your entire existence is completely worthless? How can you say your, your life is worthless? Says who? Says who? Baby, you're beginning to, you're beginning to sound very ungrateful to God. You are beginning to sound like an ungrateful man and that is wrong. People lost their life. A lot of people lost their life, but here you are standing. Just that you cannot see. Don't you think this same man who spared your life can also make you see? Don't you think so? Margaret, my money is completely useless. I can't even see the beautiful woman I intend to get married to. Your money is not useless. Richard, your money is not useless. God blessed you. He blessed you with everything anyone can think of in this life. He gave you wealth. And then he gave you life. Have you ever imagined yourself as a poor blind man? How would you have coped? No, really, how would you have managed? But here you are at the comfort of your home. You have everything at your beck and call. You have everything anyone can ever ask for. The only thing you don't have is your sight. But that is not the worst thing that can happen to a man. The same God that made you a billionaire can, 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 can give you back your sight. Have you ever thought of that? Margaret. Promise me you won't leave me. Richie. Richard. Richard, how can, how can you say such a thing? You heard me right. What makes you think I will ever, ever in my life abandon you or leave you? For what? Just promise me. I cannot promise you something that can never happen. You and I know it's against my faith. It's against my church doctrine to move in with a man who I am not married to yet. But I moved in with you, Richard. Richie, I moved in with you because I love you. I had to go against my faith because someone had to take care of you and that person is me. I am here because I love you. I am here because you are the love of my life. So there is no way I will leave you at any point or abandon you. It can never happen. Just promise. I promise. Now you promise me you will never say a thing like this again. I promise I won't. Are you okay? I'm not saying just that. What happened? What do you mean? Mm. Ah, baby. Uh, what is it? Come here. It's nothing, it's nothing. It's just that it's. It's know, what? I, 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 anytime I hug you, I feel this way. I usually. Babe, don't, don't you want me. to hug me? I'm hugging right? you! Ah, switch! <sighs> Margaret, are you okay? Mm. 
Mm, I'm just uh, mm, I'm in the spirit. Oh, what Father, you Lord. Oh. You're scaring me. Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. Wait. 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 Wait.
is not a guarantee that she's going to be a wife material. I am a woman and I will tell you for sure, a lot of girls in the street can make a better wife material than some girls who commit abominations behind closed doors and always go hiding themselves in the church. Tina, I'm excited you said some girls. I wish to tell you that she's totally different. She's not some girls on the streets. You need to come to church to see how she worships God. You need to come to church to see how she uses her voice to bring down the Holy Spirit. Have you seen her pray? You need to come to church and see how she works for God. You should do that. Richard. Listen, I totally understand your point. But then you have to also realize that when it comes to taking a wife, there's one person who's always priority to every man. Tina, I have made money. By the grace of God, I'm very comfortable. I need a wife, not just a wife, a God-fearing wife. Someone who's going to back me up spiritually. Someone who's going to love me for me. Someone who's going to be prayerful. And I have found all of that in her. Don't you understand? My brother, I am not against that. Listen, you are the only brother I have. I will do everything possible to protect your interest. Our parents are no longer here. Mm. All I ask you is for you to know more about the girl you want to marry and not just jump into marriage because you see her sing in the church. Yes, there are still the good ones out there, but you need to look well before you reap. All that glitters is not good. Besides, there is nothing like true love out there. We have a lot of gold diggers out there who will do everything possible to win your heart just because you are wealthy. And when they go and get stuff, they run. My brother, like I said before, all that glitters is not good. Tina, I'll advise you open your heart to love. Give love a chance. Find someone to love you. And trust me, you're going to come back to me and say love is a beautiful thing. Give it a try. It's very important. As for me, I'm in love with her. And she's the one I want to spend the rest of my life with. I'm very sorry if that offends you. Babe. Babe. 
Babe. Babe. She's a woman after my heart. I am glad. My dreams have come true. I got you, baby You're my everything You're my world, baby You're my everything, baby You're my world, What I look for, Sokoto Sokoto They my Sokoto Sokoto What I look for, many years Many years They're beside me Love more What I look for, Sokoto Sokoto They my Sokoto what did I look for, many years? What did I look for, many years? What did I look for, many years?
Hai Hai kwa I tell you so how to drink kai kai Am I high this other afternoon? Good afternoon Aha! Now now you come So who are you and who are you looking for? I'm the house help I called the number I saw on the vacancy post I was told to come today who called you? Male or female? Male. I suppose you're older. Male? I suppose you're older. Are you sure you're not one of these people targeting my yoga? No. You just say you know they eye my yoga? No, no. No. Oh. Oh, yeah, I'm with you. No move. Are they come?
are you doing? How about you hop in? Let me give you a lift. Ah, uh, hop in. Come on, let me give you a lift. Oh, fine boy. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Ah, you didn't even look at me. How are you doing? I'm okay. I'm okay. Um, I can see you're jogging and, and the sun is too much. Come yeah, on. Yeah, as you can see. Um, um, how about you hopping into the car? Let me give you a lift. Um, what do you think? Thanks, but no thanks. But like you say, I'm jogging under the sun. But still, still part of the exercise. Um, but not under the sun. I mean, this is a scorching sun, eh? I... Don't you think so? Uh, listen, listen. I know you're heading to the stadium, and that's my way. I can drop you by if you want. Huh? I can drop you off there. Come on. Huh? I mean, you are a gentleman, don't you think so? You shouldn't keep a lady waiting. Let me just drop you off at the stadium, huh? You know what? Listen, listen. Let me be truthful to you, huh? Let me be straight with you. Okay. I I like you, uh, and I believe you like me too. Or don't you? Come on. Huh? Oh shit. Well, <laughs> it's it's okay. It's fine. Oh god. <laughs> it's, it's fine. It's uh -huh. fine. <laughs> Domestic work at all, I can do it. Please, provided it puts food on my table. Please, sir, I need this job. What's your name again? Belinda. Oh, Belinda. Belinda, yes. I'm happy you are ready to work as long as it puts food on your table. It shows that you are very resilient. Thank you, sir. Keep it up. Thank you, sir. Um, you see that vacancy out there? I placed it before I lost my sight. Oh, sorry, yes. sir. Sorry. Yes. You see, I've never been the type to eat out. I like my food prepared at home. Yes, that's why I put the, the vacancy outside so I can get someone to help me do the house chores and uh, practically cook for me. But unfortunately, I have a fiancé who thinks it is inappropriate for a wife to be, to cook for her husband to be. It is against her moral beliefs got into her and sometimes she hardly visits me because she thinks we're not yet married she is a very good Christian to cut a long story short she lives with me now and I don't think it would be wise for me to make a decision without her so I don't think it is nice for me to make a decision to bring you in without informing her. So I'm sorry to say that my wife is in a better position to decide if we need a maid or cook in this house. 
Chai, sir, please, please. I really need this job, please. You need to help me, please. Um, Belinda, um, I understand how you feel. But I'm very sorry to disappoint you. My wife has to be the one to decide. I have found my lover, lover. What I look for, Sokoto. Sokoto. They met Sokoto. Sokoto. What I look for, many years. Many years. They beside me, lover. What did I look for, Sokoto. Sokoto. They met Sokoto. Sokoto. What did I look for, many years. Many years. What did I look for, many years? What did I look for, many years? Love My friend, come here. She said, Mama. After my heart. Who is inside? I am closed. Let me help you. My dreams have come true. Thank you, baby. I missed you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome, baby. Thanks, baby. Babe. Uh? You look different. Look? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I, I meant to say you smell nice. <laughs> oh, okay. Of course, baby. I should. I mean, since my man cannot see me, yeah. at least he should smell me. Oh, and he nice. should smell freshness out of me. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Baby, did you eat something? Uh, I'm fine. I'm not hungry. You sure? Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. hey, welcome back home. Thank you, baby. Uh, and uh, who are you? Oh, so, so sorry, babe. I, I should have done that introduction a long time ago. Um, her, her name is Belinda. Uh, she's here for the job of the housemaid. Yeah, she saw the vacancy outside, but I told her I had put that a long time ago before I went blind. Yes, and I also told her that uh, my fiance is in the position to decide who becomes the maid. That I told her you are in charge. Yeah. Yes, uh, uh, Belinda. Uh, here is my fiance. Uh, she is a woman of God. She's almost like a pastor. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. Please, ma. Ma, please. I, I really need this job. Please. Please, ma. You have the job already. Ah. I do? Mm -hmm. Baby, that was really fast. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. So Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, baby. So there is, there Thank is, you sir. There is actually nothing to think about. I mean, we need her. We have a lot of chores that needs to be taken care of exactly, in this house. Exactly, exactly. And um, she's fit for the job. I like her. Oh, that's good. And if you don't mind, baby, I think she should start up today. If today? you don't, of course, uh, if Is she's ready. Too fast. Oh, come on. I mean, <laughs> she wants the job, don't you? Oh. You want the job, right? Yes, ma. Good. Settled. At the end of the month, you will be paid fifty thousand naira. Is that okay by you? Yes, ma. I'm yeah. sure. I'm grateful. Thank yeah. you, ma. That's I'm really nice. Thank you, sir. Fine. Settled. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> then your job starts now. Get my bag. Hmm? That's really nice. Uh, I, I just went to get my stuff, my bag from my house and... Yes, Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma. Thank you, sir. Baby, I'm coming. Let me brush it up. All right. Her cause is more than ruby, oh. I have found my lover. I look for Sokoto, Sokoto, they met Sokoto, Sokoto, but I look for many years, many years, they're beside me, love more, what did I look for Sokoto, Sokoto, they met Sokoto, Sokoto, what did I look for many, many years, love more, what did I look for many, many years, love more, what did I look for She 
Have I met you before? No. No. Why do I have this... this feeling like I have... Um, I have met you somewhere outside, outside this house? No, Ma, I, I doubt. No. You sure? I see. So, um, what's that your name again? Belinda. Belinda? Yes. Why Belinda? Are you a snake? Oh, that's the meaning of your name. Oh, you didn't know the meaning of your name. I'm not a snake, ma. You better not be. And I hope you are not sneaky. No, ma. Because I don't like sneaky people. Hmm? You're not slimy, sneaky, me grimoire. No, ma. Huh? <laughs> Come on, I'm just messing with you. I'm just joking. Thank you, ma. I see. You look good. Do you like your job? Yes, ma. Are you enjoying your job? Yeah, yes, ma. Do you like your uniform? Yes, my I love it, ma. I see. Oh, turn around. Hmm. You're a fine girl. Thank you, ma. Um, you know, at the end of the day, when you're done with um, your work in this place, you can change into anything. I mean, into your clothes. You know, right? Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Um, you can even wear something sexy. You know? My husband will see you, so don't bother. Because if you're planning on seducing him, uh, <laughs> he's not seeing you. Maybe the gate man will see you, okay? Hmm? Thank you. Uh, at least uh, one thing you get out of this house is uh, maybe you got a husband. Johnny might like you and you guys might, you know, match made in my husband's house. Mm? Thank you. Breakfast is ready, I can mm. see. Yes, Good. Mm, I like you. Ah, uh, but, um, um, you should change your name, you know, just my honest um, suggestion. Hmm? Good girl. Oh, go get your boss so we can eat and get my husband. Um, sorry, my husband to be. <laughs> Thank you, ma. Yes, ma. Ben, how are you? I'm good, bro. Hey, welcome. <laughs> Please have a seat, have a seat, have Thank a seat. Thank you, good to see you, bro. Good to see you too, my brother. Babes, he didn't tell me he would be coming. Should have uh, prepared something for him. Oh. I mean, we just finished eating breakfast. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, ben had called me um, a few days ago and promised to visit. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry I didn't tell you. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Please kindly make something for him to eat. Yeah, yes, yes. Ben, you're welcome. Please make yourself comfortable. Uh, babe, uh, Ben uh, is here uh, to help with the wedding plans. Oh, really? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Remember the five million I promised to give you? Yes. He's going to make sure of that. Oh! He'll, he, the, the money will hit your account. Thank you so much, baby. Thank you. 
Thank you, Ben. Thank you for volunteering yeah, to yes, help us. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. Babe, go make something for him to eat, okay? Um, Ben, so what do I offer you? Anything for me. This home is good. <laughs> um, let me offer you something. Let me get you a drink and I prepare something for you. And before you go, uh, you see, Ben is my good friend. Uh, he's like a brother to me. So I want you to trust him. Mm. Okay? I know I have lost my sight, but with him, I can see clearly. <laughs> 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 That's true. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Ben. <laughs>